What's up, you guys? Gabe on 26 is coming back at you with another video. Hope you guys had a good Christmas. Me and my family did. But this video is made for everyone who's wondering why your car is smoking when you crank it up in the mornings or when you let it sit for a long time or whatnot. And the problem is this. It's internal. It's inside your motor. It doesn't mean that it's bad. Well, it is bad, but it's not the end of the world. You know, you don't have to replace the engine. You don't have to do this until I tell you this. Now, here's some scenarios. When you go outside, this is my case. This is what I'm going through. When I go outside and I crank my car up, a puff of blue smoke will come out and then it goes away and you may get like a little bluish gray smoke when it's just sitting there idle but it doesn't do it all the time um that's just sitting up in my driveway when i'm at a red light it does it every now and then but when i'm going down the road it doesn't do it I'm going to tell you what mechanics told me, what it is, and I've been doing a lot of research on YouTube, watching everybody's videos on YouTube about this, and I'm really thinking that it is the valve stem seals. So if you got the same symptoms that I have, the problem is valve stem seals. And you can get that problem fixed. You don't have to take the motor out. You don't have to take the, the head off the, the motor. Um, in some vehicles in my car um, they make a tool where they can compress the um, the valve spring on the cam and they can work the, the uh, valve stem seal out it's some shops um, not far from where I live they can do it and they they said that they can do it for like four like four four hundred dollars so that's cool because I'm not going to do it <laughs> I mean, I'm mechanically inclined, but not that damn mechanically inclined. I don't trust myself that much unless I'm just broke. I ain't got no money. I got to fix this, and it's too bad that I'm going to do it. And I ain't got nothing else to ride, you know, that I may try that. But I'm going to take it to the shop and get it fixed. Now, if your car is smoking when you're going down the road, you see a bunch of blue smoke behind you. You know, you're sitting up at a red light. A lot of blue smoke. It's just blue. Like, blue, blue. Um, that's telling you that the piston, the piston rings are pretty much bad. And at that point, if your motor is, if, you, if, you, if your engine is smoking like that, at that point, um, your rings are bad. Your performance is bad. Um, it's misfiring bad. It's it's drinking gas. It's doing all that it can to stay alive because of that one issue. Rings, piston rings, and they don't cost much. Piston rings don't, but the motor has to come out the car, and it has to be tore down, and. The cylinder, the cylinder, uh, the cylinder walls may have to be bored out just a little bit to get a fresh new surface, you know, and it's just, it's just a big headache. But I hope that if your car is doing what mine is doing, I hope that it's the valve stem seals for you. And they also make products that you can add to the oil um, to make that smoke stop. It's not going to be a permanent fix. I'm just going to let you know this now. All these companies that make these good products to thicken up the oil and stuff like that, it's cool, but it's not a permanent fix. You know, I tried Blue Devil. I tried uh, Rizlon. I tried uh, Bars. I tried a lot of a lot of shit, and it just didn't it just didn't work. Like I planned for it. It doesn't say what it does. So if it may work for you, but 
if the problem is too bad, like mine, I think my seals are just bad. They cracked up, they brittle, they messed up. So if uh, if the if the seals are just too bad, ain't nothing they can, ain't no additive can fix them. Then you just got to go on in and fix them. You just got to save the money, park the car, save the money, drive the car, you know, save the money, and then just put it in the shop and get it fixed. That's what I'm doing. So um, if you out here and you worrying about that, like I am, we in this together. You subscribe to the Gabe on 26's YouTube channel. We go through problems together. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we, we a family, man. You know what I'm saying? We not in this alone. You know? That's why I make these videos, man, because I know that somebody, one of my subscribers or one of you guys is watching right now need to hear this information. It's not the end of the world, you know? It's just a, what you say, a minor setback for a major comeback. And your car gets you to point A and point B. It gets you to your kids. It gets your kids around. It gets you to, it gets you to your money, you know? Your car, man, you got to take care of your car. You got to. And that's what I'm doing, you know. And one thing, too, your car, uh, if you're not the only owner of the car, the last owner probably didn't give a damn about the car, didn't change the oil or nothing like that, you know. It could be the last owner's fault. Why the rings are messed up in the motor? Why the seals messed up in the motor? They haven't been changing the oil. And cleaning out the engine like they're supposed to with detergents and stuff. You know? So, to make a long story short, take care of that problem. Take care of that problem. And you won't have no more problems out there, car, hopefully. You know? That's where I'm at with it. So, um, I hope this video was, was helpful to you guys. I hope you guys have a good, had a good Christmas. And we're going to be looking forward to New Year's together. So, um, I may have a giveaway, another giveaway for uh, New Year's going into 2021. I don't know. I ain't thought of it yet, though. But if you haven't subscribed to the Game on 26's YouTube channel, please subscribe now. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right? Y'all keep your heads up out there. Peace.